Yes guys, what's going on? Hashtag Shory here. Welcome back to another video on the channel and here today we have got ourselves, ladies and gentlemen, a very, very special one. Here today we have got, I don't need to say here today, once again, the best and most overpowered custom tactics I think I've seen in a game this early on in the game so far that have been working very, very well for many pros and especially one man in particular. Big shout out in this video to the man Michael Fisher. These are his custom tactics that he's allowed me to basically showcase to you guys I'll leave a link to his Twitter in the description. Absolute legend of a guy and done unbelievably well this year with these exact custom tactics. He literally finished top two in the first big cup of the year, qualified for the E-Champions League and did really well in a 2v2 tournament as well. And along with him being a fantastic FIFA player, it's really shown that these custom tactics are working as well. So big shout out, Michael Fisher. Appreciate you, my man. But if you guys do enjoy the video, drop a like and also subscribe to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into these custom tactics because they are just an absolute disgrace. They're very good. Right, guys. So we are literally just looking at one game plan of a formation here. Literally one. The 4 one 2 one 2, two. Now, I did make a custom tactics video recently and spoke a little bit about this type of formation. Obviously, the 4 3 one 2 is extremely similar as well. Literally just a few players dotted a tiny bit different around the pitch, but extremely similar. But this is the custom tactic that the man Michael Fisher has been using and having an unbelievable amount of success with. And I want to show you guys it in absolute detail because I honestly believe if you guys put this on, you will see vast improvements in foot champs, in division rivals, etc. All the competitive game modes that you guys like to play. And I think it just very, very much works. So we'll jump straight into it. Now, there's quite a few things to talk about in this one. So that's why we can basically speak about literally one game plan for a good amount of time. So starting off the defensive style, literally just balance. Now, obviously, this works with quite a lot of different formations, just having it on balance for the defensive style. Drop back this year is not the greatest, although obviously... It can be overpowered using drop back. Balance is, is just better because drop back, when your player drops too deep, like you almost invite too much pressure on yourself. And it can just get a wee bit, you know, problematic, if you know what I mean. But the width on 35. So now the defensive width and the other width at the bottom, obviously you can see is on 30 as well. The team like more compact in the middle just seems to really, really work on this game. Obviously, it's extremely dangerous when people get their balls into the striker's feet and that type of stuff. And with the width on 35, it seems to be absolutely fantastic and wonderful. And it clearly is working for a lot of the pros as everyone seems to be sort into wanting to switch to this 4 one 2, one 2, 2 formation. Now we've got the depth on 70 here, which is good as well because it pushes your team a little bit higher up the pitch. One problem on this game is, and like sort of relating back to the drop back thing, is that when your team like drops back too much in this game, you just invite too much pressure on yourself. And there is a weird glitch where your players like drop all the way into the box. So with this 70 depth, we're trying to make sure the players are up the pitch as much as possible and you're not having that problem. And that means you're obviously able to like press your opponent as much as possible and that type of thing without it being too crazy on like 100 or something, which obviously, let's be honest, it's just a wee bit ridiculous. I don't know why I keep going to Scottish. I can choose other accents, but yeah. But more importantly, guys, onto the offense, onto sort of like the way we're attacking with this team. Now, Michael said to me there's two ways he does this. You can either do it fast build up with balance, or once I find it, have the build up play on balanced, and then this chance creation on direct passing. So apparently either one can work like extremely well, but we'll touch on the fast build up and balance first. Obviously, as you can see by the little diagram here, I feel like I'm some sort of teacher here looking at this. Fast build up obviously is absolutely amazing with 4 one 2, one 2 especially if you're trying to get the ball forward quickly, which is obviously what you want to do in a narrow formation. You can absolutely blitz people, and that's why I like all these guys using this formation in pro games are scoring stupid amounts of goals. Seven, eight goals per game. It's absolutely ridiculous, and you'll just start absolutely flying with this. And we'll get into the instructions as well shortly, which have reasons why it can be a good defensive formation as well, if that makes sense. But switching fast build up back to balance and then the chance creation back to direct passing. Again, with the direct passing diagram, you can see what type of thing it's trying to do. Again, in the 4 one 2 one 2 you're just keeping players very, very close together, able to do some absolute ping pong passing to France, Colombia, Jamaica, Trinidad, Tobago. I could name many more countries, but you guys know what I'm saying. But for now, I'm going to stick personally with the fast build-up option but either one can work extremely well now with the offensive width we've got that on 30 as well again we're keeping the players really close tight up front in a 4 one 2 one 2 so you're able to do the one twos very close but yeah having players close enough together you can obviously trigger runs out wide if you want or use you know manual runs etc to pull players out wide but yeah the more players you have congested in the middle the harder it is for the opponent to get through and also the more options you have in midfield if that makes sense now seven players in the box again we're trying to just absolutely blitz people here ladies and gentlemen and it seems to be working extremely well seven players in the box is a good amount to have where you're not over the top or too much but you also give yourself a lot of options if that makes sense corners on one now 
if you guys don't have corner set to one yet, just make sure you do have this set to one because it literally means that you'll have that guy sat on the edge of the box for this stupid corner glitch we have going on at the moment. But let's be honest, we all need to use it because if you don't use the corner glitch, you're just putting yourself at a disadvantage compared to everybody else. I mean, it is a glitch. It's, it's just, you know, the guy waits at the back stick and it's just an absolute joke. If the corner... If the cross goes in right to the man at the back stick, you've basically got yourself a free goal. So obviously, corners on one, free kicks, not too deep yet. I mean, they can be on two or three, whatever. It's not too deep, to be quite honest with you. But the next thing we'll look into, guys, that is very, very important. Obviously, this is my team at the moment. Ronaldo, Ginola, Messi, etc. The players don't matter too much. But what does matter, for sure, is the instructions, which are extremely, extremely important. That I've been told very specific things for, and we'll get straight into that. So we'll start off with the defense. So... We've got the left back on the right back on stay back while attacking. Now, you always want this on your full backs just because it's very, very difficult with full backs, especially if you've got them on balance to defend. It's just really, really hard. Now, we do have one thing on them that's very, very different, though. We've changed the run type from mixed attack to overlap. So this is going to be absolutely key for you guys in order to basically get up the pitch attacking. So Hakimi and Hernandez in game are both going to be overlapping for you guys, which is just going to be absolutely massive in terms of just giving you more options as you're going forward. But thankfully, with stay back while attacking, you shouldn't be too exposed at the back. Whereas if you had these on balance, they're just going to stay up the pitch. And you can really get exposed by some over-the-top through balls, especially the LBRV through balls, which is just an absolute joke in this game at the moment. And then obviously, yeah, so overlap and stay back while attacking is what you want on both your fullbacks. Now, the centre-backs and the goalkeeper, nothing changed. Just absolutely leave them alone, guys. The CDM, stay back while attacking and cover centre on the CDM. So we literally want Renato to just stay at the back and in the center. We need someone to defend in this formation because it is a very, very attacking formation. Obviously, we aren't ultra defensive here, guys, but ignore that. It's literally just the one I have it set up as. It's not an ultra defensive formation. I'll tell you that for free. But yeah, cover center and stay back while attacking on the CDM. Then on one of the CMs, guys, which is going to be Draxler for mine because he's obviously a lot more defensive than Mbappe. We want stay back while attacking just on one of the CMs, right? And then Mbappe is going to be on balance, right? So that's absolutely fine. Both on cover wing and that works very well. Now, one thing I've been told and from using this formation myself, it kind of turns into a 4-4-2 with these instructions we've got on the players when you're defending, if that makes sense. And that's what makes it so, so powerful. Because even when you lose the ball, it still feels like you've got a very structured formation defensively, if that makes sense. Now, on the cam, we've got ourselves come back on defense. This is obviously very helpful to help you guys defending, especially when we've got a formation pinging forward, left, right, and center, triggering runs, which is obviously what you're going to do when you're ping pong passing with a team like this. So come back on defense on the center attacker midfielder. Then on one of the strikers... We've got come back on defense and get in behind. And on the other striker, we've got just get in behind. So R9 for me is the one that I'm going to keep on balance. And Ginola is the one that I'm going to have coming back on defense with Messi, but obviously still on getting behind as well. And I get in behind on strikers, guys. I'm sure you would have heard about it before, but works absolutely fantastically well in the game. And yeah, guys, that is basically everything covered from the main formation. And honestly, the results that people have been getting with this formation, especially Michael, is just absolutely unbelievable stuff and i can't advise it enough i think if you guys try to use this in game and obviously at first it doesn't necessarily mean it's definitely going to work for everyone and you're 100 percent going to just go and get way more wins and that type of thing but it's obviously worth the try and i can promise you off using this formation recently in the last few days i've found some absolute massive success with it and it's just a lot of fun to use as well it makes fifa very very fun using a formation like this where you're just absolutely flying at the pitch but you obviously still have a good amount of defensive stability if that makes sense if you guys did enjoy the video drop a like and also subscribe to the channel we'll have plenty of content coming out over the next week we've got the freeze promo literally coming out tonight so i'm sure we'll be covering some stuff in the rtg series but thank you very much for watching guys hope you have a fantastic day and i'll catch you all on the next one